Hello class and welcome. In this video, we will look at how to restore the impressed amount and balance petty cash in the petty cash book. Pause the video whenever needed. For this lesson, you will need your textbook and your homework of the previous lesson. Topic quiz. Take a minute to answer the following on a separate paper or page in the back of your exercise book. Define the following. Sundry accounts in the petty cash book and B. Sundry expenses. Pause the video now. Topic quiz answers. You had to write the definition of the following. Sundry accounts is a section in the petty cash book for accounts that do not reflect in the analysis columns because they are not frequently used. Sundry expenses is a ledger account for expenses that don't have a specific account in the general ledger. Before you continue with this lesson, make sure you have marked the homework of the previous lesson. Exercise 4.1, page 72. We will now continue by looking at how the impressed amount is restored and petty cash is balanced in the petty cash book at the end of the month. Step 1. Totalizing. First find the total petty cash spent and then the totals of the analysis columns and the sundry accounts section. When you add the totals of the analysis columns and the sundry accounts section, it must give you the same as the total petty cash spent. This part will later be used for the posting from the petty cash book to the ledger accounts in the general ledger. Step 2. Restoring the impressed amount. Remember, the amount spent is the amount that must be received again to restore the impressed amount at the end of the month, and receipts are recorded on the debit side. Step 3. Balancing petty cash. You will balance petty cash just like you would balance any other ledger account. First, find the biggest total between the debit side and the credit side. In the petty cash book, the biggest total will always be the debit side, the opening balance or impressed amount, plus the amount received at the end of the month to restore the impressed amount. Write this total on both sides. Then the difference on the credit side, which is the balance, is a total from the debit side minus the total petty cash payments. This balance will then always be equal to the impressed amount. Let's look at an example on page 71 of your textbook. Step 1 find the totals. Step 2. Restore the impressed amount. The amount spent, $316 million, is then equal to the amount received. Step 3. Balance the petty cash. First find the total on the debit side, write the total on both sides, calculate the difference, and this is then your balance brought down for the next month, which is also equal to the impressed amount. Homework. Complete exercise 4.1 page 72 and exercise 4.2 page 72 number 1 and 2. Analysis columns for this exercise, postage, wages and stationery. Ignore the transactions on the 12th and the 22nd. Stay safe and good luck. <laughs> 